Hello students, welcome to the lecture series of software engineering course. Today, I will cover one of the popular software development life cycle model that is prototype model. So, let's start. So, a uh, prototype considers to be a working model of a software with some limited functionality. And this prototype model is used when the customer do not know the exact project requirements beforehand. In this model, a prototype of end product is first developed, tested and refined based on the customer's feedback or suggestions repeatedly till the actual accepted prototype is achieved and this accepted prototype is the basis for developing the actual software system. So this is actually the prototype model and as you can see in the diagram the phases that comes under the prototype model. So as you can see, the prototype model starts with the requirement analysis. So in the requirement analysis phase, requirements of the software system are defined and during this process, the users are interviewed to know their exact expectations from the software system. In the second phase, that is the quick design, also called preliminary design. So, in this phase, a simple design of the software system is created. Although this design is not the complete one, but it gives a brief idea about the software system to the user. So this quick design basically helps to develop the software system. Now the next phase is build a prototype. In this phase, a prototype, a prototype is actually designed based on the requirements gathered from the quick design. So basically, this is a working prototype of the working software of the actual software system. Now next, the developed software or the developed prototype is shown or presented to the customer or stakeholders of the software system. So valuable feedbacks and suggestions are collected to uh, for enhancing the soft for enhancing in the software system during the development process. So this is the customer evaluation of prototype. So once all the requirements are collected, if in the refined requirements, if the customers are not satisfied with the current prototype, then development team may have to uh, refine the prototype by accommodating all those feedbacks or suggestions to the uh, uh, current prototype and uh, until all the requirements specified by the users are met. 
so this is basically the requ refine requirements so this phase will not over until all the requirements specified by the users are met so this uh, process uh, will be continued until the uh, developed prototype is accepted by the customer and then final product is start started developing based on the accepted prototype so this is all about the uh, prototype model and once all the requirements are cleared the regular sdlc phases will be continued like design coding testing deployment and maintenance so this is all about the prototype model so now my next topic is there are types of prototypes models so uh, there are four types of prototype the first one rapid throw away prototype model second is evolutionary prototype incremental prototype and extreme prototype so i will start with the rapid throw away prototype model so a uh, rapid throw away prototype so this prototype is based on preliminary requirements so as rapid means quick so here a quick prototype is developed to see how preliminary requirements will look visually so after that customers feedback and suggestions drives changes to the requirement until prototype get accepted in this model the developed prototype is discarded and will not be the part of accepted prototype so whenever there are changes or whenever there are uh, feedbacks getting from the customer and make those changes on the software system every time a new prototype is created so the to old prototypes get discarded in this rapid throw away prototype that's why it is called rapid throw away prototype as the developed prototype get discarded right now the second prototype is evolutionary prototype so evolutionary prototype model basically based on incrementally refined requirements and these every time the refined requirements get accommodated to the software chain software system also the customers feedback and suggestions are also considered until the prototype get accepted so these kind of prototypes are basically good for those projects where uh, technology they where they uh, the project is using new technology and it is not well understood now my third prototype model is 
incremental prototype. So, in the incremental prototype, the final product is decimated into small different prototypes and then developed each prototype individually. Eventually, different prototypes are merged to the final product. So, this kind of prototype saves feedback time of the customer and the application development team as well. So, the last prototype model is extreme prototype. So, extreme prototype generally means beyond or generally means uh, very great. So, in the extreme prototype, basically these kind of prototype used for web development. So, there are three sequential phases involved in these kind of extreme prototyping. First is basic prototypes consists of existing pages that are in HTML format, simulate the data processes using uh, these uh, prototype service layers and at last services are implemented and integrated to the final product. So hope you understand the types of prototype uh, model. So first one is rapid through away prototype model. Second is evolutionary prototype model. Third is incremental prototype model and last is extreme prototype model. So now as usual, I told you about no standard single model that can be used for or that can be applicable to any kind of software system. So as this happens to prototype model also. So my next topic will tell ki when to use this prototype model. So there are three reasons we need to use prototype model. The reason number one, when the requirements of the software system are not well understood and are unstable. Second, it is used for online systems because in the online systems, user interface have a high amount of interactions with the users and continuously we get the feedback from the users. And thirdly, when customers are constantly available to give the inputs or the feedbacks to the software system to confirm the, the software is built as per their expectations. So these are the reasons when we need to use the prototype model. Now I will explain what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of prototype model.
so uh, i start with the advantages or pros of prototype model the first one is increased user involvement in the product even before the implementation because we involve the customers for their suggestions and feedback until the prototype get accepted the second advantage is since working model is displayed to the user so a better understanding about the software before it get developed to the user the third it reduces time and cost as the defects are detected earlier in the requirement phases quicker user feedback available leading to the better solutions whenever we get the feedback at in the earlier stages so obviously we would get better results and at last missing functionalities can be identified easily in the prototype model and now come to the disadvantages of prototype model the first one risks of insufficient requirements owing too much dependency in the prototype as once the prototype get accepted so all the requirements mentioned on that prototype will be going on to develop the actual software system so such kind of risk may be involved into it second users may get confused with the prototype or the actual software the third this method has increased complexity of the software as scope expands beyond original time because this model is totally based on the customer's acceptance so if there is any delay in the customer's uh, acceptance then obviously this uh, the project may go beyond the project plans developers may try to use the existing prototype to build the software even if it is not technically feasible there could be a possibility while using prototype model that developer try to use the prototype for developing the actual actual software but whether it is technically feasible or not and at last efforts invested in building a prototype may be too much if it is not monitored properly if the development time or the duration of uh, acceptance of prototype is not monitored properly then obviously the time and the effort will be increases so this is all about the prototype model so hope you understand today's topic of prototype model if you do have any kind of query you may write in the uh, comment box so thank you students keep watching and listen